What is Parkinson's disease? One in 37 people will be diagnosed with Parkinson's at some point in their lives. My granddad Dennis was one of them. The condition causes the brain to become progressively more damaged, which later affects the nervous system. Five years ago, my granddad passed away, and I've been left thinking about the common misconceptions of the disease, if people who are diagnosed can live a normal life, and how COVID-19 has made an impact. Ultimately, is Parkinson's the next pandemic? There are many misconceptions surrounding Parkinson's, but some of the issues start at the hospital as people can take years to be diagnosed. They did send me to see a neurologist. Um, he said, I think you're making a mountain out of a molehill and you're imagining some symptoms. So I felt really stupid. So 2011 continued with my tremor getting worse, my symptoms getting worse. Um, I was sent to see a different neurologist. Um, they diagnosed me with depression. They asked me to see a psychologist. They also suggested that because I'd actually started having a couple of glasses of wine, that it was actually drink that was causing some of my um, symptoms. But that isn't always the only problem. Many people are often told that you can't have Parkinson's disease if you're under the age of 60. However, 7.4% of those with the disease fall into that age bracket. So my husband actually asked one of the specialists uh, the question and said, could it be Parkinson's? And bearing in mind, I was still only like 44, 45 at this time. When he suggested that I had Parkinson's, the specialist was really quite stern. He put his hand flat on the table and made quite a, a, a banging sound and said, I have told you it is not Parkinson's. After the diagnosis, there can be many misconceptions about the most common symptoms. I think that the majority of people think it is uh, all about the tremor, but that's not the case. They've also got rigidity, which is classically a cogwheel, slowness of movement, but also um, poverty of movement, which includes things like facial expression, arm swing, but it also affects things like swallow. Time to bring on the chaser. The biggest misconception is that those with Parkinson's have reached the end of their life. That is the cinnamon, Paul Sinha. Hello, Paul. The chaser's Paul Sinner was diagnosed in 2019, but continues to take part in the ITV quiz show. Meanwhile, Neil Russell is planning on running from John O'Groats to Land's End. So to raise money is the first thing. The second thing is to it's for my own personal challenge. And then the third, the message is to anyone that's just very recently been diagnosed with Parkinson. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. And you can, if you've got the drive and the tenacity and the fight, you can still do amazing things. And the Parkinson's should not stop you or prevent you from doing that. 